Hey my friends, well again as always, thanks a lot for your time. Today I'm going to share with you a particular type of bandolier here that I bought. I think I bought it on eBay. It wasn't, it didn't pay that much for it. A lot of times when people don't know what they're looking at, they, you know, they don't buy it. Um, for those of you, again, I keep bringing up my Bedouin cartridge belt, but that's pretty neat. I got that thing for 15 bucks plus shipping. It was $30 altogether. And here's the funny thing. Here's the way the world works. About two weeks after that, I kid you not, I saw another Bedouin cartridge belt on eBay. And I, I, I dude, I'm, 50, I'm, I'm 52. I've been on eBay since it started. I've never remember seeing a Bedouin cartridge belt on eBay. I'm sure they have been, but I don't remember ever seeing one. And that thing sold for 150 and I wish I wish I had had the money for that but you know you gotta buy other stuff here and there and uh, I just like oh damn it that would have been cool because they did have a different pattern as I said in my video I did have a different uh, there are different patterns of decorations on those things and so that was pretty neat and so one day I was stumbling through eBay as usual through oh bandolier let me look at bandolier and I stumbled onto this one now this one here, I wasn't really sure what it was. I knew it was definitely authentic and it was old, but I, you know, you can't really tell what is um, from where is it. Even though to me, it did look like Middle Eastern style of bandolier. Now, one of the differences in in uh, other uh, bandoliers that I've seen is that most of them have five uh, slots for like you know. Uh, stripper clips five each and this one here has for 10 so this is telling me that's an individual individual loaders like huh individually uh, placed um, cartridges so it's like hey huh, it's kind of interesting I wonder what the heck that's all about but um, one of the things that I thought was neat was this particular part here that you see is very Turkish model 1908-1909. Again, I've mentioned that in my Bedouin cartridge belt. Both of them, both of the videos that I have on that one, I've mentioned that. And again, if you're interested in looking that up, go ahead and type that up. Turkish bandolier model 1908 or model 1903-1909. And you'll see this particular style of very um, angled V bandolier Okay, and it's pretty long, and um, I'm trying to figure out where, what era this was, was in, but if you, I saw this here, this note, okay, this note was in, in this, and it says, purchased in Syria, Damascus, about 1990, okay, now, because after World War One or after World War Two, there was a lot of, uh, New, there's a lot of old weapons lying around. Um, not a lot of countries were looking to, you know, buy the latest and greatest. But eventually they did, from the SKS to the FAL, uh, some French rifles. And, of course, those of you who have Moss rifles, the French rifles, the 7.5 by 54, uh, those did make it to, to Syria. They were part of their inventory. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it was the Moss 36s. I don't know if they had the Moss 49s, 56s, but uh, definitely the Moss 36, which is what I have, which is a bolt action rifle. And in fact, that's what this is here. And I know that they did have them because, one, the internet tells you, oh yeah, this is part of the Syrian army's uh, ri uh, standard rifles. But they also produce the ammunition. And this ammunition, I have the boxes, are all in Egyptian or, or Egyptian, Syrian or Middle Eastern Arabic, and uh, so I know that they produce them. I'm not, I'm not having good results with this. The primers are fucked, so they're really there's a lot of hang fire. So I gotta read, I gotta redo a whole bunch of them, man. I got like a couple hundred. Anyway, I'll redo it some other time. Now, in 1956, they also had the FNFALs. Um, obviously, this is a 308 here. For the or the not 308 but the 762 by 51 which is for the fouls um, but they don't all fit either now of course they had magazines so why would they be using stripper clips why would they be using single loaders the French Moss was the 36 was stripper clips 
with aluminum, aluminum stripper clips, so why would they be single loaded? Um, the AK-47s had magazines, so why would they be single loaded? But the SKSs, you know, the SKSs did come with these stripper clips. And the funny thing is that if you look at the sides, this is stitched at an angle. So it makes me wonder, it's like, huh, was this for the SKS? I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I don't know what it was for, but I don't know. If anybody out there knows the history, I, I can't believe that I can't find the damn real good history on uh, Syrian rifles. Uh, the, the Moss 36, 49s, or whatever, the, the FNFALs, and of course, uh, eventually the AK 47s, but the SKSs, they had to have had SKSs too, right? Um, in any case, if somebody else out there knows or has a book on that, uh, let me know. This right here. Now this one here, because of the history of the Turkish Mausers with the original caliber of the Argentine, was it 765, I think? Don't don't quote me on that one. But this is the Argentine ammo, and obviously it, it doesn't really fit either, right? It doesn't really fit. Um, I would have thought that they had, uh, you know, those old, still those old Turkish Mausers, but um, it doesn't fit. So I'm going to take this off, but... Um, I'm gonna take these, these ammunitions off, but I wanted to show you the the, the bandolier itself. They're not always um, as simple. Even though this one here, for example, this reproduction 303 British one looks intricate, it it really isn't. I mean, look at the rough. It's rough. It's one thick, thick, thick piece of leather. It's stitched with a rivet for the loops. Okay, and this these loops here are just extra pieces thrown in the back. Not nothing fancy, absolutely nothing fancy. My Bedouin cartridge belt was way fancier than this, way fancier than this, and uh, um, because and, and the the shoot strooping. If you see my video on the shoot strooping cartridge belt, those were also quite a lot more fancier looking than that. Nicer, fancier, and the Arabic one. If you look. And I know that this is Middle Eastern. I know it is for sure. I'm not, I'm not going to take anybody's uh, saying that it isn't. But if you see here, it's all one piece, one long piece. Okay, the top part is all one long piece. And it's stitched at an angle. Okay, it could be hand stitched, maybe machine stitched, whatever. And these here are also one long piece. Okay, on each side, is each one is one long, long piece. And so is the top. Now, these snaps here, okay, I don't know what these are called in particular. If I ever find out what they're called, if they have a specific name, I'll, I'll let you know. So this is probably going to be a 12 millimeter, okay, not a 16 millimeter, but a 12 millimeter snap, just like the Bedouin cartridge belt. And these, of course, are just about like tube rivets, maybe, tubular rivets down here as well okay down here as well now you see the stitching in the middle here very 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 reminiscent of the Turkish bandolier 1908-1909 and it comes out through the back as well same thing the stitching comes out but here's something fancy you've got two pieces of leather so that both of them are the nicest side there is no rough side showing like on this one even the um, even this other cartridge or bandolier that I was showing you earlier even this is more considered a, a rough side as opposed to the nice side and even the the borrower one is also uh, just very simple leather rough side one side smooth side the other side but this one here as you can see this is all one piece so that it has a very nice fancy side uh, on both sides of the cartridge belt. Pretty thick, you know, pretty thick. And uh, so that, that, that kind of shows you that somebody wanted it to be very nice and fancy, fancy pants. But here's something very interesting. The stitching has come off on a lot of the, the bottom of it. And of course on the front, there's the other part. And all the stitching has come off, okay? Because you look at the loops here, you know, the stitching in between the loops, and you can't see it because it's it's hidden. But look at this, it's very interesting. There's a, there's a little part that's a little bit more open. There's 
actually cardboard in there. That's cardboard. And the loops are stitched from this leather in through the cardboard. Then this part here, the back part, with the flap is then sewn on along with the center to both sides. So it's quite interesting that um, they here's more, like here's more cardboard. This is all cardboard, very thin cardboard and uh, a little bit thicker cardboard. But uh, I found that to be very interesting because they're making it super duper fancy is what is what that's all about. And <sighs> look at that. That thread is still in the original. And these are not just holes, but these are actual holes with those metal eyelets. And this is a metal eyelets with the, for the uh, for the prong, the belt prong. So in any case, I, I think this is a I don't know who what <laughs> rifle they actually use this for. I am gonna say 100% that it is Middle Eastern. It is authentic. It is old. I just can't figure out which freaking cartridge it would hold the the moss the moss rifle moss ammunition here the 762 by 51 foul rifle the SKS uh, the original 11 mil era uh, Mauser you know caliber Argentine 76 765 765 right so I don't know which one it held I don't know which one but uh, in any case you can see how this bandolier is very 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 angled okay just in case you guys wanted to make a bandolier I think it'd be a good one to make I still want to make my Turkish one I will do it I will do it I will do it I gotta do it because it'll be cool all right my friends I just wanted to share something that I think is pretty interesting for bandoliers and uh, military history here authentic stuff and uh, I will catch you in another video thank you for your time